What's up guys? I hope you are doing well and welcome or welcome back to It's Pooja Mahapatra and I'm so glad to see you guys. So in today's video, I'm going to cover up a few details about starting your first year. So I was very curious as a student when I started BDS and I didn't get much source or info on the internet about what to buy and things like that you know i'm always a curious child even if i'm traveling somewhere i need to know about the details and even if no details are available i at least need to know things you know and when i was studying my college and i was taking bds i literally wanted to know what are the subjects what are the stuffs that are in bds and so i thought of just checking it on but i didn't got much info about those stuffs so i thought of making this video so that you can get some help and i hope that you get some help because these are the major things that i was feeling lack when i entered college because i thought like oh my god if i would know it i would be little much confident how i'm talking and what type of things i'm talking because i didn't had any idea about what is going on so in this video i'm going to cover it up so watch till the end and let's get started so the first thing when you enter a college is buying a white coat yes so what happens is in our college you will see that i wear a badge this badge or the name plate should have your name course you are doing that is bds and the college you are studying so this is the rule for my college and there are a lot of college where the badge system is not there the pocket that the white coat bears has a full badge of the college this things also happen so make sure what type of coat you people are going to buy according to the college the next thing which i'm going to talk about is very confusing guys because i didn't know about what is unilateral and what is bilateral i mean yeah i know that uni means one and bi means two but for bone set for buying bone set i didn't had any idea about what is a unilateral bone set and what is a bilateral bone set so you guys will surely know this before entering the college because i'm telling you guys that unilateral bone set means you get one only one side of the bone that means only one half of the bone if you cut a human body from this median point you get two segments right you have studied in animal kingdom all the segment you know bilateral segment radial segment so yeah so if you cut that you will get two segments now if you buy one segment of the bone set that means you are buying only one half that means you will have only one arm and the bones of like the one femur and everything as one single single things you will get and if you buy bilateral that means you are buying the whole bone set you will have every single thing okay so remember if you are taking pg or hostels and you are like having friends and you are staying together then you can buy unilateral what is the benefit of buying unilateral is you will have to spend less amount of money whereas when you buy the whole bone set that is the bilateral bone set you have to pay double the amount you know and i got my bone set from my senior and since i am not a hosteler nor i have pg i have to buy the whole bone set and it is pretty uh, interesting to also buy the whole thing because you have the full knowledge but if you are a hosteler you can just buy unilaterally that and your friend can buy another unilateral so that you can just put the thing together and it becomes bilateral so it's a very easy technique so make sure to find a partner so that you can buy in share and also there is a different thing about buying a skull you know buying a skull and a bone set is fully different so it takes another amount of money and when you buy bilateral unilateral bone set it's a different amount of money so for skull you have to buy it separately with skull you will also have mandible and maxilla so i'm going to show you mine okay so yeah so let me show you so this is my cutie pie yeah this is my cutie pie and this is the skull i bought from my senior who is intern right now and this is a maxilla that i got and also i have a mandible and this is the mandible and this is the maxilla say hi to my viewers hi so i have a lot of history with this thing i will try to like have a separate video about sharing these stuffs you know spooky kind of stuffs but right now let's move on to the next thing dental materials for dental anatomy you have carving so you have to buy some wax blocks i will show you you have to carve out tooth basically incisor canine molars premolars and this is how you do it and uh, and you have to buy this instrument okay you have to just carve it and you have to make a tooth out of it so you, you need it and you have to buy this for dental anatomy 
and you also have to buy a macintosh and then you have to buy few things for pcp that is preclinical prosthodontics now preclinical prosthodontics is not for first year but since the syllabus is huge we start our practical you have to buy things as per your professor suggest you so make sure you buy them and have the list when your professor or the cr of your class tell you what are the things that you need to buy and buy accordingly to it okay so don't take too much pressure of course you will know because the teacher will tell you but it's like a preconception you are getting next thing you need to buy is a stethoscope and a bp measuring machine which stethoscope will be the best or what company do you suggest i don't suggest anything i don't suggest anything dear because you are just a beginner so buy something which is not very costly just for learning purpose just buy something which cost around 300 400 you will get it because don't buy too much costly things first you learn and then you will get a clear idea about what type of stethoscope you should have and yeah so that's my suggestion and when you will have your practical classes the college will provide you that but not many uh, bp measuring machines are provided so of course you should have one so just buy a simple normal bp measuring machine that's it four set so this is for anatomy when you touch dead bodies you know it's dead body so you should wear gloves before touching it and also you need to buy this to like hold things you know forceps so this is another thing that you can buy because in your practicals you will require this thing so this is another thing okay so the next thing is about books now for books i will not recommend anything and uh, yeah we were also very confused about what to buy now the thing here is buy according to your own convenience don't just buy a lot of books if you want to buy anything just go to the bookstore go through the book go through the language the type of words it has used of course there are a lot of foreign books and people will tell you to buy those but those are very costly guys so you have your library go there and you can also take the book from your library so yeah you can do that so why to buy a lot of book with a lot of cost because already dentistry costs a huge amount of money to buy stuff so don't spend a lot of money on buying a lot of foreign books because you know you have to be very conscious about spending money because as the year progress you have to buy stuffs material so yeah just buy things a little consciously so that you don't get overwhelmed with the cost when you just start your college just have one notebook i was very very excited about what type of notebook should i just carry and uh, how many notebooks should i have literally i'm i'm telling from my experience you will have everything so messed up that you can only use one notebook whatever the lectures will be it will be very small amount and just buy one notebook for the beginning and you will get used to it and then when you have a full idea of the things that okay i will have this thing on this notebook and that on that notebook you will have a idea about buying notebooks according to you so don't just panic and buy a lot of notebooks just have one carry one notebook in your bag and that's it for today's video i hope that you find this video a little helpful and if you're new please do subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell icon so that when i upload a new video you will get the notification and i'm very sorry for the car honkings outside it's india and i can't help it guys i know like there are a lot of vehicles i can't just stop it i live in a metropolitan city and there are always cars going on so yes i have to study as well i have to go to college so i have to make the video i cannot just make videos when everything is quiet because it's not possible for me so i'm very sorry for the noises that you are like hearing and i hope the best for you and i also got a lot of suggestions from you guys about a lot of things that i was very surprised and was very excited about uh, making them and thank you for all the support and love that you have showered and yes that's it for today hope to see you in the next video until then take care of yourself and bye bye